Light of the World, Learning English Through the Bible, Unit A225, Copyright 2021 through 2023, Literacy International. Pray, Review, and Preview, Bible Reading, Birth of John, Luke chapter 1, verses 5 through 80, Theme, Houses and Buildings, Pronunciation, Chur spelled T-U-R-E and Shun spelled T-I-O-N. Grammar, finding things in common with so, neither, prepositions, review. What do you see? One, a house. Two, a roof. Three, a rug. Four, stairs. Five, furniture. Six, a fence. Seven, curtains. Eight, a lamp. Nine, rooms. Ten, a ceiling. 11. A garden. Listen and repeat. 1. A room. A room. Our house has four rooms. Our house has four rooms. 2. A lamp. A lamp. The lamp on the table gives us light. The lamp on the table gives us light. 3. A roof. A roof. The roof is on the top of the house. The roof is on the top of the house. 4. A garden. A garden. I grow flowers and vegetables in my garden. I grow flowers and vegetables in my garden. Listen and repeat. 5. An elevator. An elevator. The elevator takes us up and down. The elevator takes us up and down. 6. A curtain. A curtain. The green curtains are in front of the window. The green curtains are in front of the window. Seven, a rug, a carpet, a rug, a carpet. We have a small rug and a big carpet on the floor. We have a small rug and a big carpet on the floor. Eight, furniture, furniture. Tables, chairs, and sofas are furniture. Tables, chairs, and sofas are furniture. Listen and repeat. 9. A ceiling. A ceiling. The ceiling is above the room. The ceiling is above the room. 10. A fence. A fence. The fence is around the garden. The fence is around the garden. 11. A stair. A stair. I climb up many stairs to the second floor. I climb up many stairs to the second floor. 12. To rent. To rent. She rents an apartment for $800 per month. She rents an apartment for $800 per month. Ask and answer questions about the house with prepositions. A. Where is? B. The red chair is on the third floor in front of the desk. Agreeing with positive statements. So plus auxiliary plus subject. Auxiliary, person A, person B. Present simple do. 1. I like the white curtains. So do I. 2. He wants a huge garden. So do I. Past simple did. 3. We needed to paint our fence. So did I. 4. She cleaned the carpet. So did Adam. 5. B. I am buying a new lamp. So is Joe. 6. Can. He can climb 50 stairs. So I. 7. Will. I will rent a house in April. So I. Agreeing with negative statements, neither auxiliary subject. Auxiliary, person A, person B. One, for example, present simple, do. I don't like the white curtains, neither do I. Two, she doesn't want a huge garden, neither I. Three, Past simple did. 
We didn't paint our fence. Neither. He. Four. She cleaned the carpet. Neither did I. Five. B. I. Not buying a new lamp. Neither is she. Six. Can. He can't climb 50 stairs. Neither. I. Seven. Will. I. Rent a house in April. Neither will I. Listen and repeat. Hi, I'm calling about the apartment for rent. Uh, Is it still available? Yes, the rent is $1,000 per month. It has all new carpet and curtains. And there's a garden behind the building. Are there many stairs? Yeah, it's on the fifth floor, so there are a lot of stairs. But we also have an elevator to go up and down. Great. Can I come to see it today? Sure. I can show it to you at 1 o'clock. Listen and repeat. 1. Chur. Chur. Spelled 2-U-R-E. Temperature. Furniture. Future. Nature. Picture. 2. Shun. Shun. Spelled T-I-O-N. Vacation. Nation. Education. Caution. Action. 3. Challenge. 4. Please take a picture of the furniture. 5. Good education for children can help the future of our nation. Listen and repeat. A. (laughs) Parking lot. Furniture. Anything. Radio. Swimming pool. B. (laughs) Curtains. Ceiling. Carpet. Fences. Neither. C. Hmm. Hmm. Around. Above. To rent. A roof. A stair. The birth of John. Luke chapter 1 verses 5 through 80. In the past, God spoke to his prophets so they could speak to his people. Then came 400 years of silence, in which he did not speak to men. Then God sent an angel to a priest named Zechariah. Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth honored God. They were very old, and she had never had a child. The angel said to Zechariah, Your wife will have a son. You will name him John. God will fill him with the Holy Spirit, and John will prepare the people for the Messiah. Zechariah replied, My wife and I are too old to have children. How can I know you are telling me the truth? The angel said, I am Gabriel. God sent me to bring you this good news. Because you did not believe me, you will not be able to speak. Immediately, Zechariah was unable to speak. The angel left Zechariah. After this, Zechariah returned home and his wife became pregnant. She did not go out of her house for five months. She said, Look what the Lord has done for me. He decided to help me. Now people will stop thinking there is something wrong with me. When Elizabeth was six months pregnant, God sent the same angel to Elizabeth's relative named Mary. She was a virgin and was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. The angel said, You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You will name him Jesus. He will be the son of the Most High God and will rule forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary replied, How will this happen? I am still a virgin. The angel explained, The Holy Spirit will come to you and the power of God will cover you. So the baby will be holy and he will be the son of God. And here's something else. Your relative... Elizabeth is pregnant. She is very old, but she is going to have a son. God can do anything. Mary believed what the angel said. Soon after this happened, Mary went to visit Elizabeth. As soon as Mary greeted her, Elizabeth's baby jumped inside her. Then Elizabeth said, God has blessed you more than any other woman. Great blessings are yours because you believed what the Lord said to you. Mary said, I praise the Lord with all my heart. God has helped Israel. 
He will never forget his promise to be kind to us. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months and then went home. When it was time for Elizabeth to give birth, she had a boy. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord was very good to her, and they were happy for her. When the baby was eight days old, they came to circumcise him. They wanted to name him Zechariah, because that was his father's name. But his mother said, no, he will be named John. The people said to Elizabeth, but no one in your family has that name. Then they made signs to his father. What would you like to name him? Zechariah asked for something to write on. Then he wrote, his name is John. Everyone was surprised. Then God made Zechariah able to speak again. Zechariah said, Praise God, because he has remembered to help his people. You, my son, will be the prophet of the Most High God. You will tell the people how they can receive forgiveness for their sins. Answer the questions. 1. What was the angel's message to Zechariah? 2. Why did Zechariah doubt the angel's message? 3. What did Zechariah and Elizabeth name their baby, and why? 4. What did the angel tell Mary? 5. What can you learn from Zechariah, Elizabeth, and Mary? 6. Do you believe or doubt God's promises? Why? Hi, Gabe. I'm so happy. I just rented the perfect house, and it's not expensive. Congratulations, Beth. That sounds wonderful. Tell me all about it. The house is in really good condition. They just painted all the walls and ceilings. The bedroom has lots of space to hang my pictures. And I can fit all my furniture in the living room. Wow, I have so many questions. Um, what about the kitchen? The kitchen has a breakfast station. I can change the temperature with a smart thermostat, so it's always comfortable. And there's even an extra bedroom, in case our family grows in the future. How is the neighborhood? It's a great location. It's close to my job at the National Bank. And it's next to a big park with gardens. It will be great to hang out there, because you know how I love nature. Yes, I do too. I'm so happy because this is a great situation for you. Congratulations. Listen and answer the questions. 1. What will Beth hang in the bedroom? 2. What will Beth put in the living room? 3. What is the condition of the house? 4. Where does Beth work? 5. What do Beth and Gabe both love? 6. What is the first and last thing Gabe says? Partner A. Find nine differences in the rooms. A. Room A has some books on the rug. B. Room B does not. Room B has books on the shelf. A. So does room A. Room A. Room B differences. For example, one. No books are on the rug. Partner B. Find nine differences in the rooms. A. Room A has some books on the rug. B. Room B does not. Room B has books on the shelf. A. So does room A. Room A differences. For example, one. Some books are on the rug. Game. We have so much in common. Sentence. Same. Different. One. I love. So do I. Oh, I don't. Two, I don't. Neither do I. Oh, I do. Three, I am. Four, I can't. Five, I was. Six, I'm not. Seven, I will. 1A, homework. Write about the pictures with prepositions. In, on, far, under, around, above. For example, one, the ceiling is above the floor. 1B, homework, 
write about the pictures with prepositions near, between, in front of, behind. 2A. Use so or neither. Person A, person B. For example, 1. Mary was pregnant. So was Elizabeth. 2. Zechariah saw an angel. 3. Elizabeth was not young. 4. Elizabeth didn't have a baby before. 5. Joseph was engaged to be married. 6. Mary was happy. 7. Mary asked Gabriel a question. 8. Zechariah honored God. 2B. Where is the bird? A. Next to. Beside. B. Around. C. Behind. D. Between. E. Under. F. Below. G. In front of. H. In. Inside. I. Above. J. On. 3. Write questions and ask your partner. Questions, answers, follow-up. For example, 1. Does your garden have flowers? No, but I want to plant some soon. What kind? 2. Stairs. 3. What is next to? 4. An elevator. 5. Rent. 6. What is around? 7. A fence. 4. Answer and say the sentences. Mark the chur and shen sounds. For example, A. How is the temperature today? The temperature is cold. B. Where can you go on vacation? C. Will you travel in the future? D. What furniture do you need? E. What are your plans for more education? F. Which nations would you like to visit? 5. Bible Review Write about the people in the painting on the next slide. For example, Joseph has a red shirt. He stands in front of the yellow house with the red roof. He was engaged to Mary, Jesus' mother. Six A. Choose one verse to memorize. A. Great blessings are yours because you believed what the Lord said to you. You believed this would happen. Luke chapter one verse forty five from the ERV. B. Mary said, "I am the Lord's servant. Let this thing you have said happen to me." Then the angel went away. Luke chapter one verse thirty eight from the ERV. Six B. Choose one verse to memorize and read the next verses. C. Now you, little boy, will be called a prophet of the Most High God. You will go first before the Lord to prepare the way for him. Luke chapter 1 verse 76 from the ERV. Read the next lesson's Bible verses. Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 through 24 and Luke chapter 2 verses 1 through 20 in your language. 7a. Read and answer the questions. Home safety. Did you know that most accidents happen at home? It might seem strange, but your home can be a dangerous place. Learning how to avoid fires, how to prevent falls, and how to keep children safe from sharp tools and dangerous products is important. It's easy to make some small changes in your house or apartment to make it safer for you and your loved ones. 7a. Read and answer the questions. Here are some home safety tips. Do not let lamps touch curtains because they can catch fi on fire. Do not run lamp wires under the carpet or rugs that might start a fire. Do not leave lamp cords on the carpet where you walk or you might trip and fall. Do not climb alone onto the roof to make repairs. You can fall. Always ask someone to help you. Keep stairs well lit and free from clutter. If you live in an apartment, 
Do not use the elevator during a fire or during a bad storm. The electric power can stop and you can get stuck in the elevator. Keep chemicals, garden tools, and knives away from children. In other words, always choose safety first. 7b. Answer the home safety questions. A. Why should you not climb on a roof alone? B. Why keep stairs well lit and clutter free? C. When should you not use an elevator? Why? D. Why keep lamp wires from running under rugs? E. How can you make a home safe for children? F. Why keep lamps away from curtains? G. How can you make your home safer? 8. Homework. Writing. Write at least 10 sentences about your home, classroom, or another favorite place using prepositions. 9. Homework. Now I can. I can describe homes and buildings. I can understand, say, read, and write the 12 vocabulary words. I can use prepositions to describe locations. I can understand more about the birth of John. Closing Prayer. <laughs> 